Hi guys, it's Layla. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a summer sun-filled video for you guys. Um, as you know, I love the sun um, and anything summery and I love to travel and I love holidays. And it's almost that time of year again. So I'm gonna share with you guys five of my recommended holiday reads slash summer reads and it kind of links to my last video that I did on self-care if you haven't seen it click the I right there um, and you can go check it out um, just to let you guys know that my social paint night is back so bubble and paint is back for edition number two um, and it's happening on the 27th of this month if you don't know what it is it's basically a sip and paint night um, designed for young black professionals and creatives to come together socialize eat and do something with um, well-being at the center of it and mindfulness at the center of it this time around we have um, our resident artist will actually be doing a live painting as people come in so that's gonna be super cool we have a poet coming to do some readings from her book Sarah um, a really good friend of mine so yeah get your tickets or find out more info in the link below on Eventbrite and let's jump into the video <laughs> is going to be um, Sisters of the Yam. So this is Sisters of the Yam, Black Women and the Self Recovery by Bell Hooks. Um, I've had this book for about eight years and within that eight years I have probably read it like a thousand and one times. It's such an amazing book. It really links with my last video when it comes to self-care and really looking after ourselves from the inside. As we know, black women throughout history, we have had to be so strong and so resilient um, in order to keep our families afloat and to keep our families going and this book is really about taking time to heal ourselves from the inside out um, you know we, we've had to carry a lot um, over the generations, and this is such a great book if you follow me on Instagram then you're gonna know what my next book is and it is the one and only Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Um, if you're familiar with this book, then you're like, ooh, new cover, yes. Um, all the whole series has been given a brand new look and I absolutely love it. So if you haven't come across Noughts and Crosses before or the series, it's basically a dystopian novel. Um, and it's, I think, the first ever dystopian novel that I ever read and it's the only one that up until this day I really like the concept of. It's currently available, so go and get it. Um, thank you to Penguin Platform for sending me uh, the whole series. I look forward to rereading this uh, during the summer as well. So my next book is by a Ghanaian author close to my heart. Um, as you guys know, I'm Ghanaian. Um, and it's Home Going by Ya Agezi. And this book is absolutely, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Outstanding. Um, it's written so beautifully. And the basic, basically the story is about um, two sisters, uh, two half sisters born in different villages whose lives take like an alternative route. So one gets married to an Englishman, the other one kind of gets captured into slavery um, and lives in the same castle as her sister who's married to the Englishman. But of course she's part of the slaves in the dungeon. It's such a great story. Um, it kind of, it's more than just about the two of them because it does span across 300 years. Um, such a great book, please check it out. I actually got to meet Ya when she came to London to do a book reading and a signing and I got my copy signed yes I did honey where is it right there I got my copy signed I will actually be including this in a hamper that we're giving away at our bubble and paint event as well my next book is one that I have read um, three times so far I'm currently in the middle of rereading it and it is The Weight by Devon Franklin and Megan Good um, such a great book even if you're not practicing celibacy or anything like that um, it's a great 
almost kind of love it's a beautiful love story um and it, it's kind of good to see when two people agree on something where it can take them and how it can bloom so beautifully um i definitely recommend it so my last book has to be from the one and only Ayana Van Sant and it is One Day My Soul Just Opened Up 40 Days and 40 Nights Towards Spiritual Strength and Personal Growth um, This is such an amazing book, I have read it twice already um, In fact I went on a retreat sometime, sometime this year um, I can't remember when but um, I took it with me and I actually read through it with my girls. It was a wellness trip, a self-care trip um, that we took together to really center ourselves and reconnect. Um, and I took this book and like every day I would read a passage from it um, to all the girls. It was so awesome. Definitely check this out. Um, make this a part of your wellness and self-care journey. Um, so yeah, I really hope that I have sparked something in all of you. Um, and happy summer, happy traveling if you're going away. Definitely grab yourself one of these books, you won't regret it. I will catch you guys in my next video. 